that's a strange thing about human development and, and just the sounds that we all agree upon that equal the words. Yeah. Well, there, there are tons of sounds in Arabic. Let's see if you can do them. You ready? First okay. time ever on, right. on the Joe Rogan Give experience. Give me a try. Okay, so for example, my last name, everybody, all Americans will say sad. You just extend the A. Mm -hmm. But the proper way to say it, it's God Sad. Sad. Right. It's a high. Like Arnold. Like if Arnold was going to say it. Sad. <laughs> it's sort of like, exactly. Uh, or, for example, H. Can you say H? H. Not H. There's H, H, and H. They're coming from different parts from my throat. What? Yeah. <laughs> Those are all the same. So if I say, if I say uh, the Arabic people are going to laugh at this. Okay. Intakhara. That means you shit. Okay. Okay. It's a H. Intakhara. Okay. Intahmar. Okay. That means you're you're an ass. Okay, you're an idiot. Say it again. In the second one. Yeah, the second one. In tahmar. In tahmad. But see, you're saying h. It's h. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First time ever. Are we breaking new ground? Oh yeah, for sure. I've never even tried to say these words. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know, it's uh, Arabic. Yeah, earlier, I, 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 I said some uh, derogatory things about Portuguese and about French Canadian. So let me be fair and say, not Arabic, Hebrew, which is also you know one of from my heritage, is a violently ugly language. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, Arabic, as spoken by the Lebanese, and I'm not saying this because I'm Lebanese, because you know Arabic comes in many different dialects, right? There's Iraqi Arabic. There is North African Arabic. There's Egyptian Arabic. The Lebanese Arabic is really the the Italian of Arabic dialects. Get ready for some comments now coming your way. Isn't it weird how when uh, they have horror movies, when whenever someone's like calling a demon, they always have to do it in an old language. Meaning, like what, what? It's always in Latin or something. Oh, right. right. Okay. They're, they're always reading from some <laughs> book they're not supposed to be reading from. What does it say? Vominus von Vlamanacha, and they're like. <laughs> and then the demons come like right. you have to say the magic old words that people don't understand right. there's probably some weird you're a psychologist yes. you understand that shit that's interesting what's going right. on there yeah woof, you're putting me on the well it just it's the, always right the, it's there, always like a dead language well or an I old think it's language because of that there so because it's an extinct language it's somehow calling demons it's calling demons that exist in another world i i think it's as simple as that what a dumb concept that the way to call demons is like by saying a word like making a noise with your mouth it's the perfect or frequency say candy man in front right. of the <laughs> in front of the mirror three times <laughs> scariest movie of all time since we were talking earlier about our favorite movie halloween first one jamie lee curtis till is it really till today I would probably have a heart. See, what scares really? me about horror movies is not the supernatural stuff. It's the being startled. Mm. You, you see what I mean? Where he, yeah. he comes and, and you, you, right? So oftentimes when I'm watching a horror movie, I will block my ears because it's that sudden sound that really scares me. I think if I had to pick an all-time scariest movie, I think I would see the first Alien love that movie the first alien movie that is a scary is movie scary. it's very different than all the other alien movies because in all the other alien movies the aliens are kind of out in the open and, and you shoot a bunch of them they're yeah. coming from all over the place it's way unrealistic yeah. by the way yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait I, we can get into that have you seen the documentary of the making of alien i have it's, yeah isn't that amazing yeah, it's amazing yeah that uh hr how do you say his name geiger yeah, hr that, geiger that the, right. the, yeah. the artist that the designed artist, it yeah. oh my god what a unique vision <laughs> unreal like the the strange his art was so strange and yeah. that creature that he created was fucking amazing yeah, yeah. it was literally like the ultimate terrifying alien predator and a, f a feminist empowerment because the alien is a female oh the big one the mother the remember? mother is the a second girl one? yeah but this movie is so fucking good yeah. it's so good and it's so scary it's a great sci-fi movie but it's also fucking scary yeah. like like you're talking about being startled yeah yeah like and that that alien in this movie is elusive and intelligent and traps people yeah and 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 you you get to see it in brief glances and yeah. then in the new movies after that like they like aliens it's kind of a different things going on because yeah. you can kill them easy yeah now yeah. you just blast in yeah, a bunch yeah. of them and then the mother is at you but you got a robot body yeah. so you're all good like it's just so much ridiculousness that it just hurts my feelings have you ever 
Have you ever seen 1980 Brian De Palma's Dress to Kill, which is kind of a precursor to all the transgender stuff that we hear today? Have you seen that movie? No. Oh, it's fantastic. Michael Caine, Angie Dickinson. Look, you, you're amazing, Jamie. It, it comes wizard. out. I mean, you're a wizard. You have to see this movie, Joe. Is she supposedly transgender in this no. movie? No. So what happens is, she, can I give away some stuff? Or, oh, yeah, it's a spoiler. Oh, it's, it's a, a spoiler. Movie from alert. the twenties, okay. forty-three okay. years old. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but if somebody wants to see it, so she is sexually frustrated with her in her marriage. So she goes to see a psychiatrist, played by Michael Caine, who, as she's telling him her story, her sexual stories, is becoming aroused. But he turns out to be a guy who wants to become a transsexual, him, the psychiatrist. <sighs> and so he doesn't like the idea of being aroused as a male because it is then, you know, attacking his desire to to make the transition into being a female. And so Dress to Kill, the movie, is him dressing up as a, there you go. That's Michael Caine. Oh, my God. It's phenomenal. I saw it as a 15-year-old. I think that was my first exposure to... You know, transsexual operations and so oh on. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is an amazing movie. I highly, highly recommend it. 1980. 1980. 15 years old. Wow. This was the year, by the way, that year when my not this is a weird segue, but when my parents were freed in Lebanon for, after having been kidnapped by Fatah in 1980. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 